Today I'll be doing another documentary style video, this time of a local brewery that I honestly didn't really know existed until a few months ago when they messaged me on Instagram. Um, but they've been around since about 2019 and we're gonna go and learn about making some beer and about the story behind uh, Birre Ejushit, grandfather's beer. My name is Etienne Zeka. I'm uh, one of the owner of this brewery. I'm 33 and I make the first brewery, craft brewery in Pogradets. Welcome to Bila Ejusha. Okay, guys, this is for the Whirlpool. The Whirlpool is the final process of brewing to, to take down all the impurities of the beer, to make it clean, clear, and uh, to have the poss possibility to transport the beer from here, from the brewing to the fermenter to be cleaner. Then just to, to know, this is the, the, the kit of brewing. This is uh, the mashing, how you can see. We are mashing the malt here with the different temperatures. This is the mash out, who means it's a hot water to clean the malt. And uh, we are now connecting, I'm connecting all the, the tubes with the pumps just to move the beer from here to brew it there, here and to make the aromatization of the beer with the hops. This is the soup for the moment. <laughs> okay, we are arranging the 72 degrees. And how, how you can see, we have a semi-automatic uh, kit to brew the beer that it means it's harder for us and then we need more to, to work, but the quality is guaranteed, is the best. And 70 degrees will stop all the transformation of the sugars. And in these temperatures, we will be sure, sure that all the sugar inside the malt will be extracted. Then this sugar, it needs to transform with the yeast in alcohol. And we produce this, now we are producing a, a IPA, an Indian Pale Ale beer uh, at 5.5% of alcohol. The hot water, it serves to clean the malt and to make it, uh, to make it more liquid. Because it's, uh, now it's making an extract of the malt and to complete 500 liters of beer there to, to make the aromatization with the hops. We make the proof now. We make the proof to understand if all the sugar are transformed. I need the malt to go down, to filter, to be cleaner, the beer. The, the dirty will be down and the cleanest beer will be up and this will help me to transport there a cleaner beer. In a little time you will see a transparent beer here. If I leave the beer like this, the percent of alcohol will be like uh, 15 degrees, you know? <laughs> now. We can see the difference from this. To this. I'm passing the, all the mesh, all the beer, filtered in the brewer to brew it, to, aromati to, to put the aromatization.
Done. This is my favorite part of brewing, <laughs> putting the hops. We are in perfect time. Wale! We are giving aroma. This is the first step. It will be more steps of hopping. How you know, the IPA is a, is an aromatic beer. Then we will have more steps of um, uh, giving hops. And uh, the focus is in Citra, Cascade. They will give aromas of tropics, of uh, uh, lemon, of orange. This is the characteristics of this beer. You testing part of it or something? Yes, I am going. The you... fermentation. Right. I'm testing the fermentation, how it's going. And if we are in it, and I think so, we can do the dry hopping. Do you know what is the dry hopping? I have no idea. <laughs> okay, the dry hopping is... Um, I will put more hops inside, in this time of fermentation, inside the, the beer to give more aroma, more taste, more flavor, more freshness. And this is something only craft beers do it. Gotcha. Then I will show you now uh, in the other fermenter how we clean the beer. We have a different procedement of the industrial beers and uh, the beer needs uh, two weeks to stay in the fermenter. Then uh, one week it, uh, just to ferment, to transform all the sugars in, uh, in alcohol uh, and um, one week more to make, to be to, to maturate. Then uh, in this period, we, we put the temperature minus one degree and uh, all the other impurities of the yeast will, be, will, will go down to make a cleaner beer than I, will, than I will show you now. Because here we don't use filters. This is not this is not ready until, but how you can see, is very clean, a nice aroma, is an IPA, and is in a maturation time till. It needs to stay one week in this temperature, minus one. Then after two days, this beer will be bottled, and how I say you. The procedure of brewing of maturation is different because uh, it will need two weeks more in the bottle. is called uh, uh, refermentation, okay? And is a maturation of beer, and uh, all the sugars inside will be car carbonate carbonated to create the the yes the the <laughs> okay <laughs> very good. Cheers. If you see this, this, uh, this is the first kit with uh, who I start brewing. And uh, it's a prototype, the same like this, but a uh, little one. This is um, 50 uh, liters of beer, maximum capacity. And I become uh, with this one and uh, after a lot of bars and people tested the beer. They asked me, please, please, please do more. Then I became to think, 
why I can do a business this thing. Uh, I was working with financial markets, like consultants, yeah. consulting with financial markets. I bring beer on the weekends, yes. Yeah. At the home, at the home of uh, grandfather here in Pogradets. And uh, for this reason, we, I call the beer the grandpa beer because the house was the house of the grandpa. It was just, to it was just uh, to drink something, some good beer right. with friends. Right. This was the first uh, main. That the change was the first change was because people become to love my beer. And uh, second thing was uh, a market thing because I developed that nobody make good beers here. And the, the other thing was because uh, new, uh, when I start to doing this, I become to know a lot of people, a big community of brewers in Germany, in Italy, in Spain, even here in Albania. And um, I discovered a lot of information that makes me love more the brewing this job than the, it becomes a mix of passion and professionality and uh, I think is the good, the best recipe to put together to do something good. And for me, is more passion than job. Then this is the IPA we already are producing. And uh, how I say to James, <laughs> This is the easiest thing to do it, to drink it, but to make it is uh, hard work. But we put a lot of passion that time passed really quickly for us. Then, thank you for everything. Cheers. And that's the story of Etienne and this brewery that he, that he helps run. Um, I made another documentary style video. I'll link it right now if you want to watch that. It's about a... Uh, permaculture farm. Thanks for watching this video. I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next one.